Dear Dean, I was thinking about shells today. I saw a woman with a shirt that had them. And I remembered the beach. And you. And this box. I went back and read through all the letters. And for the first time in a long time, I wasn't sad about it. Not in the same way. I've been so tired lately. I'm so tired of being angry and sad because that wasn't the point. I'm sad because I'll never get to tell you certain things again. I'm sad about that. But I'm not sad like I was when you left. I think I held on to that too long. I confused it with loving you. And those aren't the same. Being sad about things I miss isn't loving you. It never was. Loving you is so much bigger than that. I don't think I can stop loving you. I think it's a part of me now, and it's never leaving. It makes me who I am. And I used to think that this crippled me, but I don't think it does anymore. Loving you has given you back to me. I've missed you, the old you. You never really came home, and I understand that now. And I know it wasn't your fault, or mine, or anyone's. It was just circumstances we couldn't avoid. But I realized that just because we ended the way we did doesn't define what we were before. To have those memories back is such a precious thing. To have that part of you back with me, it's unimaginable. I was thinking about shells. And I was thinking about that day at the beach. And I can remember sitting on the blankets looking at the water. And you asked me what I was thinking. I was thinking about how afraid I was that I was never going to love you as much as I did then. <laughs> that moment was going to be washed out. That I would never be able to experience what it was like to know that I loved you as much as I did then. <laughs> I'm sorry that things didn't work out the way you wanted to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we weren't as equipped to deal with the hand we got. The fact that we didn't get to do the little plans hurt more than the big ones sometimes. It wouldn't have mattered about the house or the island. Sometimes I stop myself at work and realize I'm never going to, going to sit at Van's noodle house with you. And I don't know exactly. I'm so terrible at letters, Dean. I'm glad you never had to read them when you were in Vietnam. They were all so terrible and boring and wordy. I think, I think that the point of it all is that moment on the beach. I had never really understood who I was until then. That's who I am, that person. And there, right there next to me, that was you. That's who you are. It's so wonderful to know that I didn't lose you. That you were always right where you were supposed to be the whole time. This whole time I thought I'd lose you. And there you were. <laughs> Memories are good that way. I can remember us. I can keep going and always know right where to find you when I miss you. I miss you all the time. I want you to realize this someday. All of that about us. You did you don't you don't have to feel guilty. I now know you and I understand why everything happened the way it did. It just happened. We just it just happened, Dean. And it's alright. I'm alright. I'll be okay. Once you told me it didn't seem right to say goodbye, not really. I thought I'd have to. I thought I'd have to let go of everything I loved about you. But I don't. And you were right. And wouldn't you be pleased with yourself for being right? The truth of it has never been clear to me, my darling. And you are always my darling. Yours. Cass. <laughs> See you then.